Two moose crazy right now. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Pretty much. I like that more. Yeah.
<laughs> it seemed like it was going to be doable and minimal getting wetness. But uh, I'm, I'm wet as fuck right now. Went up uh, North Inlet Trailhead.
Okay, so welcome back. That was hiking 27 miles in Colorado's flat top wilderness with my good friend Hunter Welsh, who is a wildlife photographer and adventure photographer. He does some really great pictures of goats. That's his thing. And I'll leave his Instagram in the description so you can find it. Yeah, so this, uh, this wilderness area really surprised me with how cool it was. Um, it kind of resembled a mini glacier national park inside of Colorado, which is really cool because that was our original plan was to go up to Glacier National Park and backpack there for the weekend. But um, this was actually a backup plan of a backup plan of another backup plan. Um, and Hunter suggested this one. But I'm grateful we ended up here so I could share this hidden gem with you guys. If you're looking to beat the overcrowding and kind of explore a lesser known part of Colorado, this, this is the place for you. So during this trip, we completed two separate trails in different areas of the, the wilderness area. Um, we wanted to see both, but we didn't necessarily have the time to connect it with one big trip. So we just did two medium-sized hikes and combined it for the three nights that we were there. So on the, on the first day, we arrived to Trapper's Lake at sunrise, and we, um, we did a 9.7 mile journey from Trapper's Lake up to Wall Lake, which is Trapper's Lake starts down low in a burn area, and then you go up around the lake, and then you head up um, above into Alpine, and we camped at Wall Lake. Trapper's Lake was really cool, um, just because of all the burn area, and there's a few ponds around it, great fishing spot. Um, there's a lodge where you can get food and stay if you need to, um, so that's also a great alternative. And there's a few campsites there as well. We just slept at the trailhead though. And then Wall Lake's just a nice alpine lake with um, pretty areas before it, like a meadow before it. It's really pretty and some great, just down from the lake, there's a great overview spot of Trapper's Lake that you can see in the distance, which is really cool. On the second day, we, uh, we hiked down from Wall Lake back down to the trailhead and then drove to Marvine Lake Trailhead, which was probably like 30 minutes away. And then we started our six mile hike from the trailhead up to the lake to sleep that night at Marvine Lake. And uh, Marvine Lake has undoubtedly become one of my favorite lakes in Colorado now. The, the approach to it is just through like these gorgeous meadows with wildflowers and the stream flowing the whole way up. And then uh, there's a few river crossings, as you saw in the video. Uh, one that went up to your knees, um, we didn't know at the time, but you should go through that. Don't try to go around it because you'll end up in the marsh and get just as wet. So that was a terrible idea on our part. Uh, well, on Hunter's part, it wasn't me. Um, but yeah, so that made the journey kind of fun. And then just being rewarded with the lake there is the cherry on top because it is a 10 out of 10 lake. It's beautiful. And then on the last day, we just hiked down from the lake back to the trailhead. And that was our, that was our two nights out on the trail. So three days total and it was a, just a really fun trip. So if you're trying to do this, um, you don't need permits to do this. It's, um, it's a great thing about this hike. There's no permits, um, it's not that crowded, and you can just show up and do this when you want to. Um, and I would recommend doing this during kind of midsummer. There's gonna be tons of mosquitoes, you'll have to deal with that, but the water and everything else is perfect. And then I would recommend trying to start at Trapper's Lake at sunrise. If you can get to Marvine Lake for sunset, um, that was also really special because the, the light just hit all the peaks and there's that alpine glow. Uh, it was just stunning. Oh, and the reflections in the water were, they were nice. My pack was like 40 to 45 pounds with all my camera gear included. So if I didn't have that, you'll probably carry a lot less. Yeah, and I actually list all my gear on my website, so I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Oh, and the hunter even brought a fishing rod with him and that kind of turned out to be a great idea because every single lake we went to was a great fishing spot. Tons of fish, he caught, he was catching them left and right. So I'll actually, uh, I'm, I want to start rating these adventures and hikes that I do a scale from one to 10. I'd probably rate this hike like an eight. It just, the wilderness area has something for everyone. Um, stunning lakes, waterfalls, wildflower meadows, and just like really great view, view spots. If you want to get up higher, you can. Um, there's fishing. There's definitely going to be wildlife if you go. We didn't get to see any, but I'm sh I'm sure there's tons out there. Um, and the trail condition was pretty good. Uh, there were some snowy patches up to Wall Lake, but that was about it. And then the river crossings. So if you don't like water, you could go and fall and probably avoid the high level water. But yeah, it felt it felt refreshing on the hot days we were up there. It was it was probably like 50 to 60 60 degrees for most of the time and the nights didn't get too cold or anything so it was really good um, and we actually had a campfire so you can have campfires up there there's no there's no ban on it or anything um, which was something I haven't done in quite a long time in Colorado because there's just fire restrictions everywhere now 
So yeah, if, if, you, um, if you like this video and you like silent hiking videos, I have a Nepal video, which was really cool. Um, that was my biggest adventure yet. And then I did an Alaska silent hiking video as well. Uh, I'll link those at the end of the video and in the description so you can watch those if you want to. But yeah, other than that, I can't wait to get back out on the trail and uh, share more adventures with all of you. Um, so I'll catch you on the next adventure.